Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Guardian Angel, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Higher Beings, Spirit Protection, and I would like to do this reading for Leo. Show me clear and honest messages for Leo. Okay, so if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see. Spirit, how does this person feel about Leo? Okay, so we're getting the Four of Cups. And the Three of Swords. So there's someone here, Leo, who's quite heartbroken. Um, I feel like they're really sad about the situation between the two of you. I feel like they feel like this is a missed opportunity, that there's a lot of potential between the two of you, but something has happened here where I feel like there's been a painful ending here. This person, and I also feel like this person's a lot more sad than maybe you even have come to know maybe because they don't communicate that or maybe you're not in contact. Um, but there's someone here who's, yeah, quite heartbroken here. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Thank you. We have the Hierophant and the Knight of Swords. So this could have been a situation where there was sort of a rush to commit, right? And, and it didn't actually end up working out. Um, I feel like this person also wants commitment here with you. They could be a Taurus. They could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this is someone here who, again, I just feel like they see there's a loss of potential here. This person wants commitment here with you. I feel like there's part of them that wants to just rush in and talk to you and have a conversation here with you. But um, perhaps there was this energy before between the two of you where there was just this, it felt rushed or it felt like it wasn't genuine in some way. And this person I feel um, is looking at this like, you know, there's so much potential here. They want to make it work basically is how it's coming across to me. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. The Empress, oof, yeah, more Taurus energy. Oh, and there's the Six of Cups. Yeah, it definitely could be someone from your past here, someone you have history with. There's someone here who just sees you as the be all end all, uh, Leo. So, and the Empress energy is coming out, the divine feminine, but it does not mean you have to be a female. We all have masculine feminine energy. This is just someone who sees, there's no better, right? The Empress has 12 stars on top of her crown representing all the zodiacs. You're a little bit of everything, right? There's no, there's no one else that can match you. I feel like you're a very generous, kind, abundant person. I feel like things, you always have a positive outlook on life. Um, I, you could have been pregnant at one point or this person could have been pregnant at one point. I feel like it's, it's leaning towards whoever's watching this video. Um, if not, I feel like this person sees you as potentially a good parent. Um, yeah, I just feel like this person just, they're heartbroken here because they lost their empress. That's how it's coming across to me. They want commitment here with you. They see this as a missed opportunity. But something happened here. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles. So there could have been another energy involved, right? There could have been someone that maybe they felt um, financially obligated to. This doesn't have to be another romantic partner. It could be a job right? Maybe they were obsessed with their work. This could be someone that they're taking care of, maybe a family member. Maybe they're, you know, stuck in a contract with a roommate and or something like that, right? It's something to do with money. 
I feel. Um, so I feel like there's something else that got in the way here, but you were always it. You were always their number one, but I feel like maybe they didn't even treat you that way at the time. And so this person is heartbroken here. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about this. Keeps them up at night. Heavy, heavy Taurus energy here. Um, and air energy. Let's see this person's actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take? Ooh, oh my gosh. Leo, you have someone here who thinks you guys are a, div a divine match. This could be twin flame. It doesn't have to be. Um, we have the emperor here, Aries energy. This is someone who's coming for their empress. This is someone who's stepping up to the plate, being a leader, taking action. They're coming for it. They're like, I need to, I need to, <laughs> this is how it's coming to me. I need to, I need to win is how it's coming towards me. So this could be someone who's very competitive as well. Again, they don't have to be a male just because the emperor is coming out, but this is just someone who sees you as their divine match, right? Um, if you do feel like you're in a twin flame for me, when I say twin flame in a reading, it means there's been a runner and there's been a chaser. Right, so you you meet your twin flame. There's this undescribable, like inexplicable, you know, connection between the two of you. Um, you're just drawn to each other, and it can it can be really good. And then you start to trigger each other. Right, one of you is the runner, fear of intimacy. One of you is the chaser, fear of abandonment. Right, so these these things come out, and the runner runs, and the chaser chases. But as soon as the chaser stops chasing. And chasing doesn't have to be texting and calling and going to see. It can just be thinking about the person. As soon as the chaser is like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to work on me. I'm not going to focus on them anymore. It like energetically triggers the runner. And the runner says, wait a second, where did my chaser go? And they come back, right? And during that time, when they come back, if during that time the two of you have worked on and healed your fears of abandonment, fears of intimacy, um, twin flames can come back together. Right? And it can be a beautiful union, not without obstacles. Every union has obstacles. Um, but if not, maybe, maybe you've moved on. Maybe the other person has moved on, right? So twin flames don't always come together, but there is this, because you are one soul split into two, right? So you're mirroring each other. It's like, you, it's like part of you that you're missing, right? So you can't really explain it with words. It's just a feeling. Um, so if you feel like you're in a twin flame, that's what I mean when I say it, but it doesn't have to be. But either way, this person just feels like you are their divine match. You're perfect together. You are their empress to, to them being the emperor. And again, it's not male or female. Um, anything else? They have a lot of passion for you. They feel extremely passionate about you and this connection. Actions towards, ooh, look at that, the sun. Your energy here, Leo. Yeah, this person just wants to make you happy. They want to be happy, which is being with you. I'm seeing this Ace of Wands here. They definitely want a fresh new beginning here in the tower. This could cause like some sort of uproar. This could even just be like really unexpected for them to come back. Um, there's definitely a lot of passion between the two of you here, though. There's a lot of happiness, too. There's a lot of abundance right so this person wants to get back to i feel like you have history with this person so even if sorry there's a loud train going by there could have been a lot of noise in this connection right um even if you are just meeting this person there's gonna feel like you have a history together because if, especially if it's twin flame you you it's like you already know each other right um but this person wants to come in, they want to make you happy. I also feel like they want to become vulnerable with you here, right? Um, but a lot of passion here. Any other actions for this person in the next two to four weeks? Thank you for the messages so far. Death, Scorpio energy, so transformation here, right? Things have changed. Things are not the same anymore. I feel like this person has gone through some sort of transformation here. Sometimes heartbreak does that, right? You miss out on something, or at least you feel like you have completely, and it changes the way you think about things. It changes how you want to do things moving forward. I feel like there has been transformation here. Um, the death card is all about kind of ending one thing to kind of go towards that happiness, that light, and the sun card is here, right? So I feel like this person wants happiness here with you. Um, anything else? Oh, and look at that, the hermit, Virgo energy. So this person could have spent a lot of time alone. 
that went on their spiritual journey this is heavily screaming like twin flame to me this is someone who has um done the work right gone inwards understood themselves better addressed those fears of if this is the runner fear of abandonment or fear of intimacy right um if not fear of fear of abandonment right like going deep and those are deep rooted issues those are go, can go all the way back to childhood usually right so it's not just about oh you know my ex left me and that didn't feel good okay I, you know i feel better now it's like there this is deep work like shadow work like going you know crying and releasing i'm seeing like journaling right like spending a lot of time alone here so i feel like and there's all these major arcanas coming out i feel like this has been like life-changing for this person um tell me about the emperor because i feel like this person is wanting to come forward here yeah they're planning they're planning on i feel like almost like the perfect time to to come forward here they could be waiting maybe waiting for a sign from you maybe waiting to, to understand more information. Maybe they don't know if you're with someone else. Anything else about that emperor? Yeah, okay, so they're coming on in here. There's de Yeah, they want another chance. Um, it's interesting, I always put my cards down, but they're asking me to put it up to be able to see the judgment card. A lot of communication coming in here. So again, with the passion, with the knight, is, knight of wands here, I feel like this person's gonna let you know especially if they were kind of in and out with you before inconsistent they're going to have conversation with you here before, here now but this conversation now when they come in could also be inconsistent and i feel like it could be because one or more of you is in another connection already um because time has passed or what have you but but there's just so much passion here this person can't deny it it's like they feel it in their bones is how it's coming across to me. So expect a lot of communication, a lot of fast movement here um, coming towards you. But this person definitely wants another chance. Oh, look at that. What is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions? Thank you. Ten of Wands. Tell me more. What is this person's intentions? Yeah, they they feel stressed about this they feel this is weighing so heavy on them the only way to relieve that is to come on in with their cup of love right they can't stop thinking about this the nine of swords isn't here but i'm getting nine of swords energy this person stays up at night it feels it feels like the weight of the world is on their shoulders until they say something to you until they reach out this is them wanting to put their best foot forward show you that they're serious that they mean business here take you out we got the three of wands and the six of cups yeah it's definitely someone from your past someone you have a lot of history with so the the six of cups can again indicate someone you've met in this lifetime already from your past but can also indicate you've had past lives together right i'm heavily like twin flame is just i don't always get that type of energy and look at the sun coming out just kind of shining its its brightness and warmth on this connection i feel like this person is waiting for the right time here to come forward they want to get back to those good times here with you with that six of cups energy there's a lot of nostalgia here this person i i feel like they're they're, they're waiting for some, let me just pull on this what is this three of wands because again with their actions it's like they're waiting for a sign or something oh my gosh look at that the ten of cups this person's in love with you yeah they're gonna have a conversation with you they're gonna reach out i feel like this person they could even just be waiting for maybe something to finish up at work right or maybe their that contract is finishing up maybe they're <clears throat> again gathering information to see if you're in something but this person wants this happiness here with you that's all they want they just want to make you they want to get back to those good times that I feel like you had a lot with them. Even if it was a short-lived connection before, I feel like those memories are constantly on this person's mind. And that, it's one of those things where it's like, if you were together for six months, it was like the best six months of their life, right? And they, can't, they even if it's 10 years later, they can't stop thinking about it. And they just wanna get back to like, that's the kind of energy I'm getting here. Um, wow, 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 wow. 
So this person wants the good old times here with you. They want to make you happy. They want to, you know, whatever the stress is, it could even be like external forces, work, family, friends, what have you, other, like an ex-partner, what have you, that they, they want to relieve that. I feel like they just want to focus on coming towards you here. <clears throat> Let's see the potential outcome. What is the potential outcome between Leo and this person? This is a really powerful reading, Leo. What is the potential outcome? Look at that, the four of wands. So celebration, success, right? Halfway to marriage. It could be engagement, just having the time of your life, right? I feel like, again, there's so much passion between the two of you, and this person just wants to get back to those good times here. Um, again, with the four of wands, it doesn't indicate it in this deck. Let me just show you in this one instead. But just the, the four pillars there you know again kind of to me representing that like this definitely could be that twin flame connection that's heavily coming through for me um sorry i'm just gonna i just really feel the need to show you physically so again this is what the four of wands looks like in this deck right so the twin flames again mirroring each other so i do feel like this person might not call you their twin flame, but I feel like their spiritual journey has really led them to understand that you are you are part of their life. Like you are, there's no them without you. Is kind of how it's coming across. Um, anything else for the potential outcome? So it looks like the two of you coming together here. We have the King of Swords. So there is that conversation coming in. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> We got the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. So the two of you, here's the thing. Like I said, twin flames, just like any other connection, do not go without obstacles, right? I feel like the two of you could have those kinds of arguments where it's like stalemate, right? I'm right, no, I'm right, and standing in your opposite corner and having just fighting about it right but you are getting four five six here four ones five oh one six so four five six things are lining up this is you're supposed to be here with this person this is a, a union that's supposed to happen i mean it's up to you right if you kind of get back to those same issues of you don't give me enough of this or you don't do enough of that or i always do this or what have like if it's if it goes back to that it looks like that could be initially what's going on here right like you're definitely getting together there's definitely commitment here um good times but i feel like you know old old habits die hard and even though the both of you could have been on this spiritual journey separately it can be triggering to come back together right so there has to be this kind of energy of with the six of pentacles of like okay we have to put we both have to put in the effort here i'm getting like three of pentacles energy as well like we have to work together here to make this work there has to be patience there has to be compromise right um because the king and queen of swords to come out again it's like not only did you get the emperor or the empress a divine match now you're getting the king and queen of swords so it's like the two of you uh know how to argue <laughs> i'll just put it like that right? But it's so passionate. That's what I'm getting. There's so much good here. So I feel like, you know, if this is worth it to you, don't let, um, I would say ego get in the way or like stubbornness, but also, you know, boundaries, boundaries are, are needed and healthy in a relationship. Is there anything else for the potential outcome? So lots of air energy coming out there. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we have Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, lots of fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Two of Swords and the High Priestess. So there's indecision here, right? Pisces energy. Spirit's asking you to use your intuition, go within, right? See without opening your eyes. If you see this beautiful High Priestess card, she's her eyes are closed but open, if you get what I mean, with her third eye. So if there's indecisiveness around this connection about like, are we going to do this? Um, go within, right? because it's a potential outcome, right? The cards are not predicting exactly what's going to happen because we all have free will. It's gonna be different for all of you, but I do feel like there's a need to kind of connect with your higher self here and um, go within, right? M perhaps meditating, um, talking to your guide. I have a mentor who tells me all the time, talk to your guides and your angels just the way you would a friend, ask for signs, right? Um, oh my goodness, yeah. There's so much potential here, but I feel like there's just kind of that 
it, it's coming off to me like old habits die hard, right? Um, interesting. Okay, let's go here. Messages for Leo, please. I wish I could share my good news with you. This person definitely wants to talk to you about something here, or maybe they've been wanting to for quite some time. I regret lying to you. So even if it was about their feelings, my focus is on my life. I can't be bothered to worry about you. That could be even how you feel, right? Especially if they've come back after so much time. This connection bores me to death. I need something more exciting. I always say when that card comes out, like if we're used to, you know, a certain type of connection, chaotic, unhealthy, toxic, what have you, whatever word you want to use, and something that comes along that is more stable, it can feel boring, right? Because chaos is almost like an addiction. Um, they could have even said that to you before. There are feelings of anger inside me that I need to release before I explode. Messages for Leo. Thank you. I want to feel that way again. I'm telling you, this person wants to get back to those, those times with you. I feel unbalanced and uneasy. I don't know what to do to fix it. Yeah, this person is having a hard time here. We are living two separate lives. So that could also be why um, they're kind of waiting to come forward here, but also that the communication could be inconsistent. I am distracting myself to avoid thinking of you. I feel unworthy of having love in my life. I feel miserable and lost. So some deep messages there, um, Leo. Let's see, messages for Leo, please. We have grounding, stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. So I feel like trying to get back to like a stable place here. Okay. We have abundance, positive mindset, manifest, gratitude and bliss, blessing. So there's that <clears throat> empress energy coming through as well. And then we have healthy choices, self-love and self-care, being happier, love and life, right? So I feel like this is going to that high priestess energy again of like, use your intuition, go with what feels good for you. Boundaries are necessary, right? Um, and they're healthy. We have partying, time with friends, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. So that could even be you right now, or perhaps like what this person said before, because then we also have paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. <clears throat> So I feel like the two of you, when you do get together, it is an amazing time here. Um, we have ascending, learning and expansion, transcending, preparing for union, new phase. Okay, let's see. Messages for Leo, please. We have remain positive, right? So you got an another card of positive mindset, right? Your thoughts matter. What kind of energy you're putting out there matters. Um, so even if it doesn't work with this person or what have you, like st staying positive, we have ask your angels, right? So exactly what I was saying, like talk to your angels and your guides, ask for signs. If you follow my channel, you know that I often use cars in, as an example, because I feel like most people can see cars where they are. You know, if I'm supposed to be with this person, show me a bright pink car and no word of a lie, you'll see the signs, you know, um, but you have to pay attention to them and you have to believe that they're for you. If a pink car goes by and you say, oh, that was just a coincidence or, you know, that's not what I, what I meant, then, you know, but, but ask for signs like that. It doesn't have to be cars. It can be anything. Um, it can be animals, can be certain songs, can be, um, but if you make it kind of unique, like a purple elephant or something like that, you know what I mean? Then it can stand out to you more and, and seem more um, like fit for you if that feels good for you. The answers you need are coming, Gemini energy. So clarity coming, answers coming. And then conclusions are within reach, right? So I feel like, especially if this has been like a long time coming, this conversation, um,
that's coming. Messages for Leo, please. Thank you. We have Star Brothers, Horus Energy Protection, Loyalty, Safety, Trust. So again, if you look at this card even, it even looks like it could be a Twin Flame card, right? Like mirroring each other there. So you are protected here. You, you, your guides, your spirit team is always with you. Even if it feels rough, like you're not alone. Um, but I feel like this, this is again, just highlighting that mirroring energy, this, this Twin Flame energy, yeah. Right, so let's see. Messages for Leo, please. Thank you. Okay, so we have not for you, number six. So the little uh, fortune cookie says nope, and then it is a chessboard, right? So if there's games going on, that could be, especially mind games with the king and queen of swords coming out, you could be like, this is just not for me, right? Um, like I said, twin flames don't always end up together. But let's see. But it's interesting because the number six, number six is the lover's card. And the lovers used to be called the choice, right? Um, Some relationships carry an innate seed of failure in them that is obvious from the beginning. But the red flags escape your observation or you refuse to acknowledge them. When a relationship is not meant to be, it is not possible to make it be. Rejection is a sign that you're being protected by the divine. If you are the one who must reject another, remember that you do so for both your sakes. For every pot, there is a lid. This one may not be the best fit. Right? <clears throat> um, I also feel the desire to read the Oracle's message, so I will. Um, there are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard you work at something, the result you seek always seems to elude you. There's that five of wands, king, of, king and queen of swords energy and the potential, right? Like just stalemate almost. It's as if you don't really got, get to be in the game and you feel you're just watching from the sidelines. The appearance of this card indicates that you are not going to attain what you want right now that indeed your dreams for that exact thing will not be fulfilled. This is a time to radically accept that not everything is available to you when you want it. Take heart for there are benevolent forces, there's your angels, your star brothers, um, who desire the best for you and have a much clearer idea of what is for your highest good. Rejection is God's protection. Something much better will make you truly happy is on its way. Trust this. So you have trust here in this card as well, right? Um, conclusions are within reach. Asking your angels remain positive, right? So just keep all this in mind here, um, Leo. You know, it's 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 not to say that this kind of connection doesn't come with deep emotions and it's not hard, right? It's not about it being easy to do one thing or another. It's just about understanding that you you're not alone, right? Um, so let's see. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates. Take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we have F, U, N, M, H, the number 7, and the number 8. Okay, Leo, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. Love and light.